Hello everybody, welcome to the official live cast of the round of 32 game. Two in the series between Dragoo and Strider. You can see at the top of the screen there's a little green mark there because Strider won his first game due to a disconnection from Dragoo. Strider won his group, Dragoo was second in his group and I can tell you that Strider is Swiss and qualified through the official ladder, no, playoffs, season three. And Dragu is Belgian and qualified through the CPC Road to the World Championship. Fantastic. Um, almost a normal Lizardman team. He does have guard. This is the uh, this is the good anti-blitz setup. He didn't actually set up in an anti-blitz setup in the first game, I don't think. And normally, you'd put your Crocs on the line. But, of course, he's got a tree there. But, yeah, this is the anti-blitz setup. Uh, these guys won forward, though. Um, so I guess he's changing a little bit. So yeah, I like I like the anti blitz setup, and um, gets the on the ball there to get the free catch attempt. I assume he chose to receive, seeing as he chose to receive in the first game. Iron Man on the uh, strip dancer probably could be the side step dancer because you want him to get hit more, right? As much as no, he does go for the strip. I mean, the strip is how you win, right? Most of the time. <laughs> this should be smelted. So yeah, it's almost a normal lizard man team. Uh, he's got the two rerolls, twelve players, and then he's got one guard rather than six block. Uh, I'm a six block kind of person myself, but after seeing Spartacus in action, uh, I'm not as vehemently six block as I used to be. Um, but I still think it's probably the best. And Stride has probably gone with the typical online build if you like which is the tree the leader thrower two catches two wrestle two dodge strip ball and then sidestep is the extra skill tabletop that would be a tackle because tabletop has amazons and that's a dub skull and you probably have to re-roll this don't you hmm you probably have to re-roll this This is what happens when I play a lizard bird, yeah. <laughs> Just concede. <laughs> well, well, Diamond, don't say it's over. <laughs> don't say it's over. This, it's, but yeah, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's not over. <laughs> Failed to pick up. <laughs> okay. I mean, this is this is okay. Look, at the end of the day, this is this is fine. Things can happen. Um, things can happen. Like it's hard, right? It's hard. Dragu does have to win. That's not easy versus Wood Elves. It's not easy. Versus Strider, um, and especially when your opponent knows you have to win. Honestly, I'm regretting not going. What else? But we'll see. And and things like you know, at the end of the day, what else can still get banged out, right? There's still A V A plus. So you know, if uh, Strider does things and they don't work out for him. Maybe, maybe Dragu can make a bunch of Kaz. Like anybody can win any game, right? It's uh, yes, it's not a great matchup for Lizard Men, but it's not a great start. But things can happen. Things could happen. Hello, Dimmy. <laughs> Hello, Spartacus. Yeah, just simply remove all the, you know, if it, you know, Dragu's maybe been watching Diomed and he thought, ah, so all I need to do is just literally cas every single player on the opposing team and it should, it should go okay. A 
And he's even got a mighty blow on top of that, so. Yeah. <laughs> Very good, Christopher P. Yeah. The funny thing is, I think Drago is the one who got beat 5 1 by. By, by Nabolo, was it? Yeah, I think Nabolo just like slaughtered his team. <laughs> so. Oh. Yeah, this is the thing, right? And any, any like base like this, unless this is the Blitz, which I don't see how it's going to be, any, any base can end up badly for Strider, right? Any, any dodge can be a Snake, Kaz, any you know anything can fail and just be hugely impactful, right? Like he failed his leap in the in the first game, and and uh, see that dodge could have just been a Kaz, right? Could have just one in nine, one in nine for catastrophic failure, like literally catastrophic failure. Even 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 if he doesn't die from that failed dodge, it's still terrible. You know he's still just like getting guys blocked and uh, getting his dancer fouled. But, you know. Yeah, exactly talking about it, right? Like it it is a bad racial matchup. It is. It is. But it's also bad that Strider's is passing every single dice roll. That's also bad. Very bad. And he's got the ball based by sidestep, so that's terrible. But, you know. You can three, crocs three dice this and kill it, right? Guard in there. Yes. Just three dice in. Like if you if you croc go stupid, so what? Like you need to kill this dancer. Knocking them over isn't very good. You've got to kill him. Strider is one nil up. You can see the green the green marker at the top top of the screen. Look, I made a sexy little uh, subtle indicator. Very subtle, subtle Jim. Ah, so he just goes for a two D. That has to rush. The powers. I feel like you should 3D at him. Was that a misclick? Was that a misclick? Because he could have just moved there, right? And then this one could have blitzed without rushing. And that was probably a misclick, right? He was probably just meant to move him here. And then blitz with it, because why would you bring in two two assists to then not three dice in? So that must have been a misclick blitz. And yeah, there's the bounce. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh god, no. Thanks, Chrissy B. Oh, fine here. Counts as, <laughs> counts as an art commission, yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Insane production values, yep. <laughs> A little MS Paint green line. Look, it, it's okay, it fits in with the... Fits in with the UI, doesn't it? I, I think it's fine. Stop being mean to me. I mean, this just sucks because you can't really get the ball. You can't really foul him. Yeah. I mean, I guess you can, right? You can just go 3 plus dodge, 4 plus pick up, 3 plus dodge, 3 plus dodge, come out, foul him. Nope, he's failed the pick up. It's scattered back out to the lizard, to the elves. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh god no. <laughs> Fair enough, help. Fair enough. 
It's got to be really hard for Dragu because he lost he lost due to a disconnection. So, like that already is just horrible, right? Like losing the first game to the disconnection is just horrible, and then now the second game's gone like this. He's got to be sick, hasn't he? Like it it wasn't going great for him the first game, right? He was losing two one, but it looked like he could have maybe made it two two. Um. And, you know, if he had drawn the first game and then lost this, well, that's fair enough. But after losing the first game at the Disco, this just has got to feel horrible, hasn't it? <laughs> oh, Slaghammer Mining. Yep, that's, that is, it, it, it happens, you know, it happens. It never stops being dicey. Ever. Ever. No, no amount of skills or TV or anything like that. It's all it, it's always a little it's always a little children's dice game at the end of the day. No, he can't jump out, can he? I was going to say he could just leap out on a 3+, plus, but he can't because that's not how it works anymore. So you have to 4-plus dodge. Yep. Wonderful. I don't know what the what the shadowing bug is. Um, I heard it mentioned in chat, but I don't know what it is myself. Yeah. And it is somewhat relevant, isn't it? Because some some assassins, like you know, dark elves, some of the some dark elves have assassins, and most lizards have chameleon skinks. But I mean, it it might not have even been the bug, right? It might have just been a disconnect, and then somebody said the bug. It it could be the one that makes everything go grey, right? It could be the one that makes everything go grey, and because of it, he disconnected and then tried to reconnect, and then couldn't reconnect. Dressed up Yahtzee. I mean, you know, there's a lot of skill in gameplay. There is there there is a lot of skill in gameplay, but there is also still a lot of dice, isn't there? It can be uh, it can be both things. It's not completely random, but also it's still a dice game. He didn't try to foul the dancer, no. Well, he, I think he would have done if he'd picked up the ball, but he still had to pick up the ball, so I think his plan was to pick up the ball, then dodge it back out and foul the dancer. Yes, exactly, hold on. I would have, I would have crock splits the dancer um, rather than rather than Sora splitting it. And then actually, he, rolled a, he, made, he made a rush to blitz it, so that would have been the crocs and it would have gone stupid. But yeah, I would absolutely just be crock splitting, yeah. Cross split, crock splitting, hoping for cars. Base everything, hope for cars. Foul, hope for cars. He's only getting into this by absolutely dicing Strider from now on. And similarly, Strider just has to be playing absolute risk minimization game, right? Like just doing everything he can to avoid getting smashed. Smashed, but yeah, it's a it's a funny old game. It, 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 there is undoubtedly a lot of skill and a, a steep learning curve and stuff when you compare them to like you know people who've played for a lot of years and stuff, or people who've just really tried hard and learned to be good. But um, but yeah, when you uh, <laughs> despite all of that, there's still a lot of dice. Yeah, there's never there's never not a lot of dice. But this format is really good, I think, making it best of. Two slash three. Really cool format. A blockless block. Uh, 
you okay, Strider? <laughs> He's just doing that to punch him and then realised, oh, I, that was my cage. <laughs> Anybody can make mistakes. Wow. I mean, the skink would if he was like stunned, cobblestone, but it was it was Dragu's like you know Dragu can simply move the skink, can't he? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that's what Strider thought. I'm sure Strider thought, oh, the skink blocks the Saurus. And then, like, wait a minute, he could just move it. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't stunned, no. So it wasn't the World Championship, it was the Season 2 Finals. Um, so, you know, it was the, the precursor to this event. It was in January of this year. And Strider won that in the final versus Diomed. Both very good players. Very worthy finalists. And, yep. He did win with Lizards versus Orcs, yep. Funnily enough, despite the series being tied, um, because Diamond beat him in the initial bracket and then Strider won 2 1 in the final. So they ended up, they both won 2, lost 2. So overall, it was, it was very interesting. <laughs> Super interesting. Yeah, it did go three games. The final went three games, but Diamond had beaten him in the initial, in the initial double elimination format. GFLC, and Mr. Nice. Yeah, I mean I miss them too, Al. But sacrifices have to be made. Yeah, it really needs to kill players. He's also been pretty unlucky with his crocs going stupid several times. Really hasn't had any luck <laughs> at all, Dragu. I really love the BLGF, but people kind of took that to be mean. Which it was it was only ever like meant as like a funny joke, right? And then people actually people actually took that to be mean. Which bamboozled me. <laughs> Best of luck, good friend. <laughs> this isn't super easy for Strider. But it's pretty easy in his turn four, so, you know, as long as he just thinks about critical fails and how bad they are and where they are and stuff like that, it should be relatively simple for him, I think, to see this out. His tree's a little bit wandered off, hasn't it, somehow? the dodge. It's the skink. Hmm. Some dodges in Strider's future then, no doubt. And creeping further back into his half. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Exclamation point Xbox is probably the greatest the greatest sound effect in history. Yeah. I mean, he's on defense. <laughs> he's on defense right now, but um, yeah, he just he just doesn't he just wants to play as safe as possible, right? Like he just doesn't want, doesn't want to get players killed and stuff, and doesn't want critical failures. So it's just going to be like kind of a sloppy, a sloppy drive. Really, is is all it is. I wouldn't say there's a technical term for it. It's just going to be a, a it's just going to be as safe as possible. To not have anything disastrous happen. <laughs> not exclamation point trio, no. No. God damn. <laughs> That's the worst thing that Tony's ever done making that. Yeah, so that is, I mean, this is the obvious blitz, right? You've just got to get in. And hope you can make him make a critical roll, and then hope that he fails it when he does make said critical roll. Gets the crocs in. Lovely jubbly. Finally, finally, the crocs doesn't go stupid. So he's got just got to think about like what, like you know, how he can make. Drago has to think about how Strider can get out of this without the dancer dodging and then stop that from happening so that the dancer has to dodge. And then if the dancer has to dodge, he's got a chance. Not a very good chance, but a chance. You know what kind of critical role. That's why they call it that. You could try to like screen off here for like the jump. But then the jump would be back out, wouldn't it? The jump would be like to here, so... But then you don't want more people behind the ball. Interesting. Yep. 11%. It's not great odds, but... 11% to get your, to get your touchdown is, you know, pretty good right now. No, so I think... I hate leaving this guy the, the dodge off, right? I hate leaving this guy the dodge off. Um, or just leaving him assisting this block or whatever, so... I think he had to take this skink and put it up there. I think that's what he had to do. This is like Jay Leave Cam, except he has it on more of an angle. I could not play the whole game like that. Does tail impair? I really don't know. I, I diving tackle does apparently. I don't know if tail does or not. Kentucky, you can see the green, the green stripe at the top indicates that Strider won game one. Yes, exactly. Oh, don't yeah. Yeah, not Pogo. Right. It's the pal. So it was a two as well, that dodge. So if he'd got the skink there, <laughs> who knows? I think that I think that was the play. Honestly, I think this this skink up here is. It's pretty good. Does the handoff to save the three plus critical fail?
Yes, it does affect me. Yeah. It makes sense. Like I, I knew Diamond Tackle did. So that would have made me guess that Tail does. But I couldn't have told you that I knew. <laughs> You wouldn't have thought that the tree would be the closest player. And that and that was a four plus dodge that failed. But um Yeah, honestly, trying to surf the dancers completely legitimate, isn't it? <laughs> I'll be honest, Denbeek, that probably won't work, <laughs> but you can try. <laughs> It's the push. I mean, you've, you've got to go for the serve, I think. I think you have to go for the serve. You just have to. Double or nothing, the classic. Just blockless block, right? See if you get him, and then if you get him, you just gotta surf him. It sucks. It sucks because it does kind of stop this good bit of pressure you got, which is the croc splits on this, which is maybe what you should do. Right? Yeah, okay, he does do the right thing. <laughs> and his reward is double skulls. Jesus Christ. Thanks, help. Uh, game one of this series, Dragu disconnected, so that's why Strider got the win. Strider was 2 1 up, but he was in trouble. Well, Dan said, no, I, I, I would. Because, I, you know, him getting surfed sucks, but at least it stops him getting the crocs onto the ball and stops him coming up there. So it's, it's a weird one where both. Both um, both people are kind of okay with it. Oh, when would you choose to not use dodge? Yeah, when you're going to get surfed. Yeah, yeah, when you're going to get surfed. So, like, you know, you if, if the lizards had the ball, <laughs> you would choose not to use dodge so you didn't get surfed. Um, and, like, one turns, yeah. In this situation... No, because I think you're okay. I think as Strider, you're okay with him surfing you. And I think... As Dragoo, you're also kind of okay with surfing him as well, right? So it's... It's a weird... It's a weird situation where you're both kind of alright. With whatever happens. You don't find me, yeah. and it's it's tricky for Strider. He's down to five minutes of time bank, which uh, obviously isn't lowers down. He's still got three re rolls. He's just worried about critical fails. That's all it is, right? It's just he cannot afford, like you know he he wants to play it super safe, but eventually he's 
gonna have to make dice rolls. This is live, yep. So Morglum, what happened with the schedule um, was Go Go Bay cancelled because he got a power cut. So the schedule is completely invalid. Yeah. <laughs> I did not sabotage anything. Yeah, Dragu is in. He's in. He's in a bit of a pickle. Hello, Keith. This is indeed live and laugh style. Gonna do a pass? No. Oh no, of course, because it needs to be the screen. But they were, you know, critical. Two critical 1 in 36s were rolled there. So, riskier than he'd want to be. That's what I said, Invictus, yeah. <laughs> of course, I would never do such a thing. But if I did... I mean, the problem is there's not a Saurus dodge that does the job. Oh, this one. Through the middle, yeah. It doesn't do the job because he sidesteps and you don't get anything through, really. It's so rubbish. It's so rubbish. Oh. It's so horrible. Um. You could blitz the leader. The problem is, like, this is this is stopping you reconnecting, right? It's good good move by... Strider, all this stuff is stopping and reconnecting. So it's not as if you can blitz this guy and, or this guy and pile in. So the fact that actually you're in such a bad spot, you lose less by going for the dodge if you fail it. The thing is, even if you do the 5 plus dodge and you're all the pal, he just sidesteps to like here or whatever, and then your skink has got to roll lots of dice to get through. And his dancer just got all two plus to pick it up again. <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry, Drago. <laughs> Good point, Ali. Yeah, and that's it. Now it's done. He runs down, screens off, everything's good. <laughs> Strider did re did prevent him from reconnecting. Look, these two players and this player here meant that he had to blitz this guy if he wanted to reconnect these three Sauras to these. <laughs> In this game. Yes, I was like it was a good it was a good play by Strider to, to do that, right? He got his players in the right squares. I don't mean the actual internet connection. <laughs> This tree has been an absolute boss, hasn't he? He's just tormented this Saurus all half, knocked him all around the pitch. <laughs> oh, 
Honestly, the skinks are probably just better off going into a cage and just uh, blitzing. Oh no, bl blitz a dancer, and then if you power him, foul him. It's probably the best you can do. Yeah, the croc's continuously stupid. Tree doesn't care. This is looking very, very good for Strider. I'm sure he has ES5 here. Yeah. Yup. Fails the argue. Fantastic. Loses a player. <laughs> oh dear. probably just gonna like probably go for the quick score now right because if you get 2-0 up you've basically won you could dacker though the problem with the dacker is if they get you they turn you over but then it's still 1-1 one, one, you're still going through so I guess it depends how they set up right if they set up narrow you quick score I don't know, I might quick score. I, I think it would depend how they set up. Honestly. I might not even deck, I might just do like a you know, like a fluid offense. So you can just run away if it starts to go bad. You can have a scoring threat that can score if it, you know if the opportunity presents itself. Yeah, the half dacker, yeah. Yeah, it could be it could be half dacker time. Fluid offense, you know, like, it, you know, it, it's fluid. You can just do whatever, right? Because you can, like, elves that can score at any time, right? Like, that's the thing. Normally, offense, the thing that makes offense hard for elves is having to score on turn eight. It's easy for them to score in two or three turns or four turns or anything, right? They can, uh... You know, Skaven, right? The thing that makes a Skaven offense hard is not that they can't score. The movement 9 and edge 2+. plus. What makes it hard is scoring on turn 8. So if you take away the need to stall till turn 8, it's 
quite easy to score, isn't it? So you play fluid, and then if you if they crash in and make you know put you in a bad spot, well then you can just run away and turtle a bit, or if they don't protect the sideline, you can steam through and quick score and all that sort of thing. Oh wow, removal. I mean that's the biggest thing against a Dakar, isn't it? It's just random removals. Pretty good. I mean I was <laughs> I was Dakaring then by me, but uh no. <laughs> Throwing a half. All oh, right, fluid. Uh, get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I mean, the thing about the quick score is it's not automatic, is it? So, whenever people say the quick score is best. It's not automatic. If it was automatic, then yes. <laughs> if I could just move the turn counter two squares and be 2 nil up, I would do that. <laughs> but it is not automatic, so that's the problem. That's the problem with the quick score. <laughs> Let's just do the Dragoostra. <laughs> 3D. It's the power. Crocs on three is pretty nice, isn't it? But this stun. Like, he appalled it from a KO, didn't he? But, like, this stun is a bit disappointing. This guy should probably just get in, right? He's got guard and he's not using it. He should have probably got in there. Probably is, if you do get in, just instantly too easy. But, um... Could have gone up there, maybe? Maybe he should have put the guard in here, like one of these two should have been the guard, I don't know. Sparta, because I'd put them in the right place. <laughs> oh my god, hand over the ball the tree at Ulan Root, that would be funny. See, now he could go for the quick score, but it's still, it's still some dice. I'm not saying I would go for the quick score, but, you know. And uh, I don't think Strider probably considered it. Um, like, probably didn't even consider it. Just smash a skink. Hmm. This is a lot of people needed to hit this uh, Saurus. I guess he's got them, hasn't he? At the moment, the dancer could get a uh, 2D. <laughs> Just quietly. Okay, now he's going to go in the cage. Finally, finally moves up, cages around the tree. Just roll some twos. And threes. Leave the dodger on the crocs. Yeah, nice tail, mate. Where'd you get it? Oh, 
I mean, it's still basically just desperation stations, isn't it? He's just got to do what he can. Has to, the, the problem is he does have to cover against like the handoff play and stuff, right? And like the quick score. He does have to guard against the break and score. Which normally you'd never you'd never have to because the elves have got to stall till turn eight, but not these elves. So you've got to somehow stop the breakaway players while still pressuring enough to just stop the wood elves just standing there till turn eight, which also they normally couldn't do. They've got to try and go at some point, except now these ones don't. And now they can just stay caged around the tree and pretty happy about themselves. Oh. 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 Obviously, Dragu has heard about the handing off the ball to the tree, winning the game, and uh, he's decided to stop this. Fair enough. Fair enough. That's... Uh that's fair enough. He doesn't want he doesn't want the five plus win the game. It was the only way he could base the ball, to be fair. That's why he did it, I guess. He thought this way he can base the ball. So I get I get the rationale behind that. <laughs> yeah. It's not gone for Fibrito, unfortunately Go Go Bay cancelled. Um so we'll be playing nine o'clock on Thursday and nine o'clock on Friday. Didn't lose help me. That's I like that I really like this double rush. Because there was a pretty easy way out through here and stuff. So I really like that double rush at the end there from Dragu. It was not a free win, no, it was a reset, yeah. Yeah, that was like super easy, right? So he he had to shut it down. And it's not really shut down, but it's it's been made bad enough that it's not a good idea. It's funny. This is where Strider and I would differ, right? I would have, uh, I'd have blitzed this one. I'd have tried to stun up the tree before making any other dice rolls. Number one, and then number two, I'd have blitzed this guy, and uh, and just carried on like you know, I'd block him, blitz him, go here. Right? I wouldn't want to risk a one in thirty-six. It was a one in thirty-six to almost lose, right? If he fails there, he hadn't stood up the tree. 1 in 36 is it to here is horrendous. Now the payoff is great. But I would have been scared of the fail and I would have not gone for it. Yes, it's funny, isn't it? He does, he is very frequent. He very frequently has iffy ordering. Yeah, it's really weird for such a good player. Because obviously Blood Bowl isn't just ordering and stuff. It isn't just risk, risk mitigation, which uh, some people love to say is all it is, but it isn't. Has he forgotten about the tree? Has he just literally forgotten to stand it up? Is he just going to end the turn without trying to stand it? I think he's just forgotten it. It doesn't last and it's a one. 
<laughs> oh no, that was the take route. He does get the stand. He does get the stand. Oh, instant one for the Crocs. Diced again. Yeah, like that's just unequivocally the wrong play, right? Like you have to stand up the tree first. There's, you're not gaining any, he's never gonna move anywhere. You're not gaining any information. That was just absolutely a million percent incorrect. And it is weird. You know, he won season two finals. Has you know has good ideas, does the right plays. You know most of the time and stuff, and yet often will just do randomly, just like you know halfway through a turn. All right, now I'll move these two players and stand this guy up. And so I was like, well, wh why, why haven't you already done them? <laughs> yeah. Well, the why not? 3-2 pluses, why not? Because that gives you about 10% to fail, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, maybe you're done. Maybe that's why he does it. <laughs> maybe that's why he does it. Just to see. Just to see Art's reactions. But the thing is, Art isn't streaming, is he, for ages? So he won't see Art's reactions. Three two pluses is a eight percent to fail. And if you fail, it's disaster, right? Like I think you're higher than I think you're higher than ninety two percent now to win. Is the thing. And that, that I mean that's what it, then like look, by going by making this move forward You know, pressure's come and now he's gonna have to make more dice rolls, whereas I quite like mine, quite like my uh, blitz back and move back a little bit. But that's not to say that I'm right and he's wrong, it's just, you know, he's, you know, probably more. Let's go and get the score and call it over with. Now he's done the tree first. I mean, that that is definitely correct. The, the, the tree first was just definitely 100% correct and not about not what I would have done or anything, that's just definitely... Very few things are definitely correct, and standing up your tree first is one that is definitely correct. <laughs> Another full pal! <laughs> right. Yeah, so I guess he's, now he's going to go back, right? Oh, shadowing! No. I like how I like how Chunter like shadowed me like continuously in our practice game. <laughs> Lots of people say that out. Also, like intercepting throw a teammate, right? That would be fun. Even if you couldn't throw the other people, if you could just intercept throw teammates, that would be enough. Mmm. Finally, snakes. 
nearly removed himself. By the way, he was the, what he was trying to do was stopping Crocs ball, right? Which Crocs ball is possible. Okay. No, no, I think I think the play was the rush to get the Crocs in afterwards. And like, I know it's, it's maybe, you know, technically wrong to do that or whatever, but I think. Maybe not in such a bad spot, actually. Just made a cast. I just feel like you just need so much to go right as the, uh. As the lizards, but it's difficult, very difficult. The ball is based, but not by Crocs. But double based. Yes, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. He needs two TDs. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, yeah. I'm thinking. See, this is the thing, right? You played split blue ball for so long. You just think that you're trying to score one. That's a very good point, Embiid. He has to score two, so it's. I again so now I think it's a hundred percent correct to get Crocs on the ball because like you need you not only do you need to turn him over you need to do it fast you need to have done it probably two turns ago so yeah the, the correct play I'm pretty sure was to rush you know Crocs ago rush get the Crocs on the ball rather than this double one because yeah time is really against you now the Drago. Olivier, check. No, nope, we're all right. <laughs> this is sorry. If you're watching, Olivier, I do apologise, but it will never stop being funny to me. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. He needs the two, so he really have to be hyper aggressive reform i mean this is this is fun isn't it this isn't toxic this is fun this is fun <laughs> thanks <fine. laughs> you're allowed to be toxic to good players yeah <laughs> Yeah, I'm toxic to myself, you know, like my bloody, my players that got surfed and my, uh, my Crucifer one turn defense. No, no, the toxicity Denbeek was the Olivier check because in Olivier's game versus Jay Levy had a player in the end zone, right? So it was Olivier check, we're okay. <laughs> That was the toxicity, <laughs> but um, yes, the the that's a good skink move. That's a good skink move, isn't it? Because that stops the easy dodge out, but then he just instantly powers in. So the easy dodge out is back on. But this guard's pretty good. This guard's pretty good because you could also dodge out there and dodge out there and then blitz through here, except the guard stops that, so... I mean, that's really good doing this, but then you've got to do a 1 in 9. You really don't want to do a 1 in 9. Really, really good, really good turn from Dragu, actually, after seeing he needed the Crocs on the ball. This is actually a really good turn from him. This isn't easy at all. I mean, he could leap, he could leap, but 
you know, if he fails it, 11%, terrible. I mean, even if it fails, you are going to win, but you still don't want to, you really don't want to do it. You really don't want to do a three plus, but it looks like he is going to do a three plus. And he rolls a two, and he rolls a four. Look a dog. Outrageous dice. Outrageous. And the rushes. Yeah, this guard, this guard made what he probably wanted to do not possible. He could have uh, blitzed him, right? He could have just gone out and blitzed him if you were going to do the three plus. But then the problem is, if you do that, then. I guess he's thinking he's probably just going to get him again. Uh, I guess he could have just caged around the tree. And I guess he, he thought if he's going to have to do a 3 plus risk, it might as well be to win the game. And then also if it fails here, it's near the tree and stuff. So there was a lot of upside to doing the leap rather than the dodge blitz. And now. See, it's over. Has he got a jump? One, two, three, four, five, six, rush, rush. We've got to see a Saurus jump. Let's go. Saurus jump. Hell yeah. Mm. Maybe not, actually. Oh. Yeah, because you can push him to there and then fill this and then you can block him and push him and fill, yeah, fill fill these two squares and you can block him to there and then chain the source to there. That's way better. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. That, I mean, it is over, yeah. The game is over. <laughs> the game is over and Strider has won. <laughs> but... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, you should jump with the Saurus. Come on, do it. Oh, I shouldn't jump with the Saurus. Is that what you were saying? Oh, don't. Come on, you've got to do the jump. It's fun. Just do the fun move. Who cares about anything else because you've already lost. But, uh, unlucky for Drago that he got the disconnection, wasn't it? That was. That was sad in the first game. By the way, Strider nearly out of time back. 50 seconds left. Couple of removals, not enough. Yeah, I do like, I do like the, uh, I really do like the, the format. 100%. Yes! Oh, no! <laughs> and now he can go 2 and up. I mean, he doesn't even need to go 2 and up. But, oh, he doesn't do it. <sighs> How boring. <laughs> I mean, it's correct, but it's boring, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, the, the jump attempt was great. What can you do? And rush hit the skink. I can just punch, yeah. Just punch the crocs. 
And then that gets all these three out as well. And that is all she wrote. Well. Well, Elp, who knows, maybe next year. down now it doesn't matter does it yeah the groups into the knockout round slots I like that the problem is it's a bit more complicated with 64 isn't it like when the World Cup does it they have like 32 and like 64 is like twice I guess you just do two 32 man tournaments don't you yeah, you just literally do two 32-man tournaments. So you copy the World Cup and then just double it. <laughs> so yeah, it's easy. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually just simple. Yeah, you just halve the 64 and two 32s, yeah. Yeah. Errata, errata. So they, they could map out the entire draw. They could. Yeah, maybe the inducements, right? If that, if the inducements have become possible, like rostered stars and stuff. But I think it's better that there's not rostered stars. And I mean, I think like rostered um, keg would be okay, right? Like, and honestly, getting a keg, I feel like getting a keg for the necro would be better than getting the uh, thirteen zombie. Then I'd maybe be more on board with Diamed's build. Yeah, but please no stars. Yeah. yeah. Now he scores. And now he's 2 0 up. And it's still technically possible for Drago to win, right? He gets a timeout into a one turn touchdown. And then he's losing 2 1. And then he gets, the t then he gets a timeout into. <laughs> Or a blitz into another score, and then a blitz into another score. So that's what he does. He needs a riot, and uh, not riot, timeout, one turn, and then blitz, blitz. That's what he needs. Easy. Oh no, does he need another riot? Because it's, it's Strider's turn. No, yeah, because he gets the timeout, and a one turn touchdown, and then a blitz, and then another blitz. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's it don't say it's over, as, as Elliot would say. It's technically not over. Yeah, Rusted Stars, I would rather not like. Yes, indeed, Elp. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, man, if you get Strider. Oh, my God, imagine if Strider is. Yeah, actually, literally, a Strider disconnect is his best chance right now. <laughs> Time to sit and burn down all three minutes of his time bank, <laughs> hoping for a disconnect. <laughs> Jim with the top strats. If you see me losing in, in any of these games, you will see me run out my entire time bank, hoping for an opponent disconnect. <laughs> Tiny sliver of equity must be taken. <laughs> he was behind 2 1, but he, it, Strider was under pressure, so it could have maybe been a 2 2 draw, maybe. But you know, I mean, he, he got out of all the pressure in all these games, like throughout this game, didn't he? So. But you know, dice happen. High kick did not get the timeout. So I think now, even the blitz wouldn't save him, right? No, so I think now it is over. He 
Yeah, he didn't reconnect in time, yeah. 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 Yeah, it, even if Dragu had got a 2 2 draw, he would have still lost this game. So, But then, you know, obviously, he would have played this game differently if he only needed a draw. So that's the other argument, right? So maybe if he only needed a draw, he makes different decisions and then draws this game 1 1 potentially. And then it's okay. <laughs> Jesus help. <laughs> Still just doesn't work, does it? No, it does. I was being stupid. Never mind. This does work, doesn't it? Yes. Hand off now, so it's not in two tackle zones. Definitely should have handed off when it wasn't in two tackle zones. He could technically get a timeout and then reverse one turn and then a timeout and then reverse one turn. All right, he got the one turn. He's still technically alive, right? Timeout into reverse one turn. Into timeout into reverse one turn. It's still possible. Don't say it's over. <laughs> <laughs> Into disconnect. I mean, yes, it's as it's about as over as it can possibly be, without it actually being over. Oh, now, now the now the oh no, you shouldn't have put everything in the line because now the uh, now the blitz is no good. Now the blitz is no good. He just he just puts it. He just marks everything for the blitz. Needed to have the skin. Now, now the, the Blitz could have gotten the draw. I mean, he'd still lose, obviously, if he got the draw. But Blitz could have gotten the draw and he could say, Ah, if it wasn't for that disconnect, <laughs> I would have had two two twos. So basically, uh, you play two games without overtime. And if somebody wins after those two games, then they win. But if it's tied with like two draws, or a win each, then they play a third game with overtime activated. Okay, thank God it's over. <laughs> <laughs> Expert play from Strider there. Tree eats the one. Yes, a bit like a bit like a uh, a two-legged match. It's like a two-legged match, except the scores don't matter. It's only on the results. So if you won five nil, then lost one nil, you'd still go to a tiebreaker. Try to just end his turn, yeah. <laughs> Minimise his chance of disconnecting. <laughs> oh dear. Dead, dead, dead. Diced again.
Well, it was a pretty decent line match, wasn't it? Like it, it did, it did look over for Drago instantly. To be fair, but you know he battled well, and uh, there were there were key rolls made uh, by Strider. So you know. It's obviously really tough for Drago, but what can you do? <laughs> the foul dance. Yeah, exactly, man. Yeah, he did. He did he, good effort. Good effort from Drago. And the first game, he had a good effort from where it looked terrible as well. So he really did battle very well both games, Drago. But unfortunately, he was Lizard Men versus Striders Wood Elves, and uh, that's not a great spot to be in. So Strider wins both games in the series. And you know, even if he hadn't had the disconnection, he would have probably drawn at least, right? So. Um, you know, can't really feel too bad, Dragu. I mean, obviously, we'll feel terrible about the disconnect, but congratulations, Strider. Commiserations, Dragu. Strider advances to the round of 16, where he will face the winner of Frankie versus Slade Black Mage. So, there you go. Um, yeah. Right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.